we have not seen a Brazilian team of this caliber before. Lau just outclassing G2. Man, the discipline that the Brazilian team showed today was on another level. Yeah, I think it's uh, what I said at halftime, which was G2 kind of disrespected in the prep uh, in terms of Lau, was about that discipline. They didn't expect them to be so tight-knit, so mm. well uh, traded, and so having such good teamwork. But as the series progressed, I think that actually did change. As they got more time, it did change, and I think that's why they started that comeback. But, I mean, eventually it's going to end, uh, especially when you have such good plays from players like Aspas, from players like Saucy. It was ridiculous. Yeah, it was just too little too late. I mean, Kakuka Loud has to be feeling Jeez. good. But, man, Optic looked incredibly strong today. What are you thinking for the upper bracket uh, final? The problem is, I think that Loud is the kind of team that gets into your head because you start trialing yeah, things. And just what Bala mentioned, they were so good in trades. They they they, they have a lot of balls when it takes to, to re-pick and then just keep going for the duels because they have a lot of trust that whoever comes next is going to be coming. Like, you are never going to be alone. No duel is going to be in vain. Yeah, exactly. That's what I was most impressed with. It's my favorite word now, discipline. It's not no flashy <laughs> strats. It's not no flashy strats or, you know, combinations of utility or anything like that. That's great, too. But what Loud just did was show that they have the fundamentals. They can compete against any team at this point because they just took down Team Liquid and then into G2, who looked good as well. Yeah, as uh, for G2, that was definitely a tough loss for them. We'll elaborate on that in a little bit. But let's take a look at our Verizon high-speed moment. Aspas's ace. Uh, is anybody surprised? I mean, this was probably like not the fastest, but he was flashy in the server a lot. The kills are separated, but we were talking about the discipline. He's going in, he knows that he, someone has his back 100% of the time. And just goes in over and over the again. The crazy part is that last shot to me on, on Mixwell that we just saw. And he cleans and up he the rest of it. Right? Yeah. But to rest. This is. He's playing against the original Jet, right? The original God Jet <laughs> from EU. That was the guy that everybody really, really was hyped up about when the game came out. Yep. And now here he is on an international stage at a LAN doing things like this. It is so impressive for a first time LAN player. Yeah, and I think that Bren was having an interview with Zach the other day and he was mentioning, we really want to play uh, a G2 and Aspa said before the tournament, I really want to play against them. So uh, congratulations, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, Aspa, he was just one of the many players that we've been talking about. I think he put 40 kills on the board, but man, there were some other standout performances. Was there anyone else from Loud that you really wanted to highlight, Bala? Yeah, I always want to highlight Sassy. This guy's insane. Yes. I mean, there's so many moments where I'm just like, wow, that ult was perfect. Wow, that shock dart was perfect. That recon was perfect. <laughs> he just set up his team so well, but also the discipline comes from him. I think his leadership in the server is what has taught these young guys to be as they are. When they're in tough positions, you see them falling back and getting into their teammates' positions instead. So that that's the type of thing I see constantly from Sasha. It's why he has some of the highest KD on any in any of these uh, matchups.